I'm a fairly high time airplane and helicopter pilot with a low time in gliders and this is my second flight in a 134. I had an uneventful ground run and was just snugging up to that sweet spot behind the tow plane. At this point, I'm in total denial. That was not my canopy that just flew open. It's right about here that my brain kicked in and made its first conscious decision. Fly the aircraft. This is my second decision point. I could release and try and make the taxiway to the left, but I'm flying with my left hand, I'm holding the canopy down with my right hand, and I decide everything's going great right now, I'm going to gain some altitude so I can have some more options. Now, I also fly the tow plane at the club. So it's right about here that I realized there's no way in hell that Johnny can see what's going on here in the little mirror we have in the Super Cup. Now you notice I'm not trying to close the canopy. I'm not trying to fiddle with the handle right now. I've made a conscious decision that I'm just going to simply fly the aircraft while on tow and once I release, I'm going to try and uh, close the canopy and find out where I'm at before we get into the landing process. Okay, I've got the runway made, I've got good altitude, it's time to get rid of the tow plane. The tow plane's clear, but I just cannot close the canopy. It's time to land. We couldn't close the canopy, but we're still flying. But we have to find a way to work all of the controls in the cockpit. So what I found is I could wedge my elbow through the vent to hold the canopy down, fly the aircraft at two fingers, and I could still use my left hand to operate the spoilers. Now that I'm safely on the ground, I can be thankful that the canopy didn't fly off, that my new Nexus 7 didn't fly off with the canopy, and also think about what an idiot I was for not closing the canopy right in the first place. <laughs> 